Writing and reading the fractions 1 upon 3, 1 upon 5, 1 upon 7. Hello, Starry. Let us revise fractions. This square is divided into two equal parts, out of which one is colored. So, we say that half the square is colored. So, the colored part shows the fraction 1 upon 2. That is half. This figure is divided into four equal parts, out of which one part is colored. So, the colored part shows the fraction 1 upon 4 or 1 fourth or a quarter. Now, look at this circle. It has been divided into four equal parts, out of which three parts are colored. So, the fraction showed by the colored part is 3 upon 4 or 3 fourths or 3 quarters. But Starry, are you aware of other fractions? Alright, let us see some more fractions. Look at this cake. Let us divide it into three equal parts. Now, we put icing on one of the parts. So, we have put icing on one part out of three parts. This part shows the fraction 1 upon 3 or 1 third. Now look at the part without the icing. There are two parts without the icing. So, they show the fraction 2 upon 3 or 2 thirds. Now look at this figure. It has been divided into five equal parts. Let us color any two parts. The colored part shows the fraction 2 out of 5 or Two fifths. The uncolored part shows the fraction three upon five or three fifths. Look at this strip of paper. The number of equal parts it is divided into are 7. Number of parts colored is 4. So, the fraction showed by colored paper is 4 upon 7. The fraction showed by the uncolored paper is 3 out of 7.
Hey, Starry! Look at these fractions. The meaning of the first fraction is out of 11 equal parts. 7 are selected. So, the numerator is 7 and the denominator is 11. We read the fraction as 7 upon 11. Let us look at the second fraction. It means out of 9 equal parts, 2 are selected. Here, 2 is the numerator and 9 is the denominator. We read this fraction as 2 upon 9. See what the third fraction means. It means that out of 13 equal parts, 5 are selected. So, the numerator is 5 and the denominator is 13. We read this fraction as 5 upon 13. Let us now revise what we have learnt. Fill in the blanks. For the first fraction, the numerator is 5. The denominator is 8. The fraction is read as 5 upon 8. For the second fraction, the numerator is 2 and the denominator is 11. So, we write the fraction as 2 upon 11. We also read the fraction as 2 upon 11. It means out of 11 equal parts, 2 are selected. This fraction is read as 3 upon 7. So, we write the numerator as 3 and the denominator as 7. We write the fraction as 3 upon 7. It means out of 7 equal parts, Three are selected. The next fraction means of six equal parts, one is selected. So, the numerator is one and the denominator is six. This fraction is read as one upon six. So now you have learned some more fractions. I'm sure you must have enjoyed it. Bye!